just the back and forth momentum oh. swap that there's a big rock here comes Romero oh. but a pull counter there Bang! we go we have there a it is. champion ladies and gentlemen so, yeah, so I already recorded footage for Justin Gaethje so I'm not going to do all that however they did do an update for UFC 5 where they're showcasing well, not showcasing where they just showed <laughs> well we see the new shorts on Max Holloway in the lightweight division same thing for uh, Justin Gaethje as well in the lightweight division a request from the fighters. Another thing that was also requested by the fighters. $300,000 fight night bonuses, which is awesome for them to do. And it shows what really happens when the fighters actually work together. And I thought that was a really cool thing for them to actually get rewarded for doing so. Justin Gaethje taking on Max Holloway in a BMF title fight. Of course, with Justin Gaethje, we're looking to utilize a lot of our hooks, a lot of our uh, <laughs> our rear-handed weapons when need be. And his nasty, nasty leg kicks. Oh, my God. Why would you throw that? Why would you throw that leg, brother? <laughs> One of his best weapons. Off the signature block, too, it's a little bit easier to kind of disguise the kick. If you guys don't know how to do the signature block, I did do a video showcasing how to use Justin Gaethje's signature moves. He also, of course, has access to the Rolling Thunder, which is done with L1, right? L1, R2, triangle, and circle. <laughs> you can't make that shit up. <laughs> of course. Georgia here too. Leave it to me to get uh, hit by a leg kick by Max Holloway. Trying to go for the, <laughs> the real leg kick. Tries to go for the boxing combo. Oh, Max. Oh, Max. Not like this, Max. I hope this doesn't happen to you in the main event, dog. The main BMF event. Dude, the power of the signature block against round shots is so fucking clean. It is susceptible to <laughs> it is susceptible to like straight shots, of course. Relax, brother. <laughs> this is the best part about using Justin Gaethje. And you can also alternate between the signature block and your regular block. So you can kind of bait your opponents. Oh, Lord, Lord Almighty. Max, not like this. Not like this, Max Holloway. Here we go. Oh, and Thunder. Oh, my Lord. That's just gonna get me in trouble. Oh Lord, Max. Oh, not like that, Max. Not like this, Max. <laughs> Try to get this one through. Try to get it. Try to get it, but unable to do so. I think it's real cool though. They also did um the signature fight shorts for Poatan. Ah, uh, he rage, uh, he quit out. I understand, I understand. All right, cool. So that's just basically to go and showcase. They added the new fighter shorts. They also have um, you block ten punches, and you can unlock the Sean O'Malley shorts and whatnot. So that's pretty cool for that alter ego. But well, that's gonna be it for that. You guys are going to enjoy the rest of the Justin Gaethje showcase that I had recorded before they did this little nice fighter short update. Did y'all hear that Justin Gaethje requested for $300,000 bonuses for UFC 300? If the UFC goes and does that, that would be a great way to set off a milestone event. And honestly, the 50,000 bonuses should be something, it should always be something higher, at least now at the base 100,000. It would incentivize a lot of things and it'll help out the fighters exponentially. But we'll talk about that some other time. What we're really, really focusing on is Justin to highlight Gaethje. UFC 5 has access to a signature block. You can do that by holding R1 and R2. I already did a video on how to use the signature block with Justin Gaethje. You guys can check that out in the tutorial. We're taking on this Bobby Green. Bobby Green also fighting on the card, taking on Jim Miller. This card, gonna be watching it from <laughs> top to bottom. There's 12 current or former UFC champions on the card and it's going to be a great one so I, I'm really excited I want to hear about y'all's fight predictions as we try to get through with showcasing Justin Gaethje we're almost done with all the fighters I am going to definitely have to omit some and save some for later like uh, Marina Rodriguez I did already get her showcase done 
but I'll probably just save her for after the fight. Hopefully, she wins against Jessica Andrade. Because I don't feel like right now, it's leading up to the main card. I usually try to build my showcases up to a point where we get to the fight that everybody wants to see. So it would be kind of random if I just throw in Marina right here because that's going to be earlier. <laughs> no offense, but you know, what I'm, you know what I mean. Justin Gaethje, you were also always looking to try to set up the Rolling Thunder. One of his signature, signature strikes. I think a couple other fighters have the Rolling Thunder in game. Diego Sanchez has it. Who the fuck else has it? Uh, Conor McGregor has it. Gary Rodriguez has it. And you can set up this Rolling Thunder with the power of the threat of the leg kicks. You're not really going to get a finish off of leg kicks. I mean, it can happen. I've gotten it before, but it is way, way too difficult for my liking unless you catch somebody in, in vulnerability. There we go. Speaking of vulnerability. Eric is about to go a little bit crazy. Get you love some clinch action. It's how he uses his wrestling. Doesn't use his wrestling all the time. <laughs> There's a the funny clip. I think I'll maybe I'll try to find it and put it on here where Justin Gaethje's body rejects trying to wrestle. Like he tries, I guess he like tries to shoot a takedown on Eddie Alvarez. Now in reality, you guys will see what actually happens. But it looks like Justin Gaethje's body is rejecting the idea of using his wrestling accolade, which I found to be hilarious. Getting in a nice flow here. Overhand nails him as he tries to pull. Signature block on. There we go. Counter hooks. Landing and lambasting Bobby Green. Who needs, who's in dire need of a model update. I want, here's what I want y'all to do. Well, I'm beating the shit out of this Bobby. I want y'all to go to EA Sports UFC's Twitter and tell them they need to update Jim Miller and Bobby Green. If y'all could do that for me, I love y'all forever. That'd be great. What better way than to do so? Then, look, look, the heat. This motherfucker quit. God damn it. Another fighter fighting on the card, Charles Oliveira. I can't wait to upload. Well, I already have it unlisted. I already got it done. We got 40 minutes of Charles Oliveira action on the way. So, I can't wait for you guys to be able to watch that. It's basically going to be a nice little movie for y'all. But here we're taking on Charles. Ooh, okay. Went straight to the 1-1-2 one, one, to the 3. one Good advantage with Justin Gaethje is his signature block. His signature block, if you alternate it with the regular block, you can be really, really difficult to hit. You can be super defensively sound. You do have to be aware that on top of being susceptible to straight shots, you are susceptible to takedowns too. It's easier to get taken down because you're high guarding that way, which I kind of want them to also increase that window in general with um, the overall low blocking and, oh shit, <laughs> low blocking and high blocking nonsense. Strategy-wise, Justin Gaethje versus Max Holloway, it's much, much deeper than just hard leg kicks and cardio. It's, it, comes, it comes down to a lot more than just their attributes. Both of these fighters, they are calculated when need be. Like Justin Gaethje, when he fights, he fights very well off the back for when he needs to. Showed that against Tony Ferguson. Also did a nice on-the-back foot counter against Donald Cerrone. Nice little, nice uh, way to channel Charles there. And Max Holloway, his durability does help out with his style, but he's very calculated in his approaches. His feet work really well to cut his opponents off of the cage. So I'm interested to see how all that's going to play out. It's, they're probably going to have a bit of a cautious round one for like the first minute or two or so. And then when somebody gets going... Somebody lands that one <laughs> significant shot they need to kick things off. That's when things are going to change. I will say, Max's power at lightweight is underrated. He looked pretty good against Dustin Poirier. I was just watching that fight. Stung Poirier pretty bad in round three. Just the volume. And then, uh, obviously, there's a differential between the power between him and Dustin. But he does not... When he's not cutting that weight... He'd be saying all them things. And you have to be aware for Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje. Why the fuck did he? Did he just T-pose? Oh, fuck. <laughs> no! <laughs> Good job. That was nice. Well done. Well done. Well done. Beautiful. Ah, shit. <laughs> all right. Unlike Justin Gaethje in real life. We're going to at least take some opportunity to hurt you while you're down there. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Oh, 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 o
I like this. I like this. This is my type of fight. It's bringing it. All right, that's like, give me the legs. Give me the legs. There we go. He is brawling. Illuminated by God. Charles don't give a fuck. That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. You don't really see a lot of people pick Justin Gaethje on ranked championships, which is kind of... I do understand he does match up. Uh, it's he's actually a weird match. Like for against Conor McGregor, for example, Conor McGregor is a very very difficult matchup for him, and a lot of people t like to run Conor on lightweight. So I understand why you don't see him there. Um, he does match up pretty decently against Islam Makhachev. The only problem is uh, sub stats and whatnot. What the hell? Backstep instead. Who else does he? Um, I guess uh, Dustin Poirier. He matches up, it depends on how, uh, if you start winning the leg kick battle early against Dustin, and you don't get caught by some of those nasty straight hand punches, nice combo. I think we should definitely look to see a lot more, if he wins against Max Holloway, you'll see a lot more people picking, that's usually what ends up happening, the fighter wins, you see a lot more. I do have to showcase Max Holloway, I'm not showcasing the alter ego just yet, because alter ego Max does not have the ability to go into... His switch dance combo. So there's no point in me showcasing Max Holloway if I'm not gonna be able to do his switch dance combo. So EA, go do go fix that for me. Nice front kick. I love that he is a, this guy's sticking to the Charles style of striking where he's throwing a lot of those front kicks. <laughs> Flying knees. Go give one right back. Okay, that that was weird. Ah man, that was slow. There we go. Leg kick. Leg kick. Leg kick. <laughs> Get up. Oh, what? If you guys uh, don't know what I'm referencing, it's a, it's an old college humor video between it's like the Tetris gods and it's like L block. T block square. Like, <laughs> if you guys haven't seen that video, it's a hilarious video. And it's like about how the Tetris gods are unforgiving. So I pretty much say the same tune. I say the same tune to that. The leg kicks. Damn, bro, he's still blocked high. Fix block counters, please. Leg kick. Okay, good job. He's clinching us now. That's good. Clinch you right back. You cannot be afraid of the firefight with Justin Gaethje. It is important. I wouldn't necessarily go for takedowns with... Man, chill with that circle and shit. I wouldn't necessarily go for takedowns with Justin, mainly because it will tax his cardio a good amount. It's not... Even though he has some... Off of the wrestling pedigree alone, and he's had he has slammed people. Like when he... Early in his career... And I forgot, where was he before? I think with the Palomino fights and shit. When dude want, wants to grapple, he, he grapples and slams the shit out of people. And obviously still has some pretty great technique being a former D1 All-American. But I would really, if you guys want to channel Justin Gaethje as, <laughs> nice, as much as possible. I would stick to using the clinch trying to land those double uppercuts. That's your best, best option. Oh, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah brother, I, if I were you... If you try to win this bout right now, you got to shoot. Hey, you got to try to shoot. You got to try to maybe wait for me to whiff a shot. Try to get into the bail. Maybe get into mount. Because it ain't looking too good for you, Chucky. It ain't looking too good. Bodecito, Chucky. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Esta fue una bien violento aquí. Blood all over the octagon. Mmm, faints the front kick. Motherfucker! Oh! Oh! What the hell? No. Enough of that. Oh, come on. Lambast him! 
Ooh, almost got rocked on that exchange. Donna! Nope. There we go. Hooks, hooks galore. Oh, this poor Charles. Herb Dean does not do his job. There's this looks like a goddamn massacre. At the people. Go from a MMA fighting simulator to Mortal Kombat. In terms of how much blood there is. Ooh, stop the Protect your head, dog. It's too late. There we go. Bloody him up. Back up to mount. All right. I'm not giving you a chance. No chances here. Finally, we put down Charles Oliveira. He is schlump over there. You couldn't ask for anything more violent. With the highlight Gaethje, you couldn't ask for anything more violent than that. We do have enough time to get one more fight, and then we're going to call it a showcase. Beautiful left hook counter lands, and be able to put Charles out. Very good, very good. Wouldn't be a lightweight showcase if you don't want into uh, Makashev at least once, huh? Okay, what type of Makashev are you? Nasty remains. Oh! Is this McNasty? McNasty! It's my boy McNasty! I see you, dog. I had the misfortune of uh, fighting him when he was using Makashev. And I chose uh, Lightweight Nate Diaz. And his connection was doodle butter. Seems to be fine now, though. He's a very, very high quality player. I think he's um, top 10 in North America. He's a very, very good. Mm, this, this is the dilemma right here. Woo, nope. With Islam Makashev. If you strike with him like this, if you see how he's striking. It's like delayed tempo. Like kind of like if you're overreacting, thinking of the takedown that's going to come. It might not even happen, right? It might not even happen. But if you're just constantly trying to high block, low block, getting ready to try to defend the takedown. You're going to allow for Makashev to just build on damage. So our goal right here with Justin Gaethje. Much akin to how he's going to be dealing with uh, Max Holloway. We're looking to intercept. Go. There we go. He's, so he's going, oh, jab to the body, to our lead leg side, and he's circling off to create the angle after doing so. Nice. Give him a nice little leg kick. Of course I catch you around this time. Oh, that's a bad whiff. There's the cycle. Every, every player, decent player, has like a cycle that they like to go for. Like, they land their one, two shots, and then they look to build. He's not looking to grapple. He probably already caught on. He's like, oh, yeah, this is definitely Romero. <laughs> like, I sidestepped that uppercut. He's like, yep. That's why he kind of said, I noticed he kind of, like, sat back after I did that. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I know I know what you like to do. It's that again. It's very subtle. Like, he's, he's not forcing it, but it's like a very subtle southpaw shift. And that is a question that we're going to have to see get answered with uh, Justin Gaethje. Max Holloway, he switches stances very effectively. And when he's in southpaw, he has a... Oh, nice. He has a nasty, nasty rear body kick that not a... Weird. <laughs> that not a lot of people talk about. He's not just a boxer. He came into uh, MMA as a kickboxer from Hawaii. Good first round. Really good first round. Very, very good first round. 
yeah, definitely uh, lost a couple of exchanges there. We do have the carved of, carved of wood perk, which gives us plus three to our health attributes when our health is lower than Makashev's. I'm sure I highlights. Maybe we, maybe we did win that round. That was a close round. Close, close round. Nice little impact on the leg kick. Nice. Ugh. He must have tried to input a clinch. And then because my back was turned, the game registered that as him. Okay. I see what happened. Okay, we got a night. We actually have the stam lead here. Go head kick. We got to at least try for a head kick. In the form of rolling. Th <laughs> In the form of rolling thunder. Now we start to pressure. There we go. Fix block counters, please. Leg kick. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, he knows. He knows. He knows. Mmm. Oh, beautiful overhand counter while I'm trying to throw a leg kick. Expect a lot of that from Max Holloway. Not specifically the overhand, but Justin Gaethje, when he got finished by Dustin Poirier, it was why he was throwing the leg kick, which is why when he was fighting Dustin Poirier in the BMF title fight, he made sure that he was mixing up the head kick as well as the low kick threat. Mm, beautiful feint. Oh, my head should got off the center line there. Ooh. Take a step back. We're not old Gaethje. Come on. Another Rolling Thunder. Oh, brother, you are insane. We're going to try to attack us while your head off is low like this. Mmm. I want to go for another one. I can smell it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Block and move, block and move. Weather and storms. Plus five to my block when I'm moving my head side to side. Dada! Oh, 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 right. They nerfed the shit out of it. You can get hit. You can get hit. Now, when you miss that shit. Oh, my block. Where did my block go? This is a fucking fight! Yo, he's rocked! Let's go! <laughs> he tried to fire back! He tried to fire back when his head up wasn't fully recovered. And we got ourselves a flash KO with a rolling thunder. Beautiful, beautiful. We're going to close out the showcase with that. I'm not topping that. No way in hell I'm going to be able to top that today. Justin Gaethje versus Max Holloway. At UFC 300, BMF title fight on the line. And we're going to be in for some fireworks. I can't wait to watch this card. Let me know in the comment section who do you guys think is going to win between Justin Gaethje and Max Holloway. Remember 17, I appreciate y'all. Much love, take care, and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.